What's going on, everyone? So I had to jump on today because we have a huge headline from Microsoft. They have just revealed their more Durana one quantum chip as the quantum computing wars heat up. Let's take a look. Let's dive into the article and let's talk about what this means for quantum computer stocks and quantum investors. So Microsoft on Wednesday announced a new kind of quantum computer chip that it says will make quantum computers useful in years rather than decades. The chip called Majorana 1 uses what Microsoft says is a new type of material called a topoconductor, which the company claims takes advantage of a new state of matter that is not solid, liquid, or gas, but a topological state. The upshot is that Microsoft says it, uh, its approach will help lead to chips that can perform complex tasks needed to research topics, including material science and healthcare. Quantum computers are specialized machines that can handle calculations that would take classical computers like the smartphone, laptop you're reading this on, hundreds or even thousands of years to complete. So what a crazy, crazy headline. And I'm sure you're all are wondering, oh my gosh, this is another huge headline from Microsoft. Remember, um, Microsoft said earlier in 25 that Microsoft that 2025 is the year to become quantum ready. So they are bringing the goods. Uh, they're bringing a new chip. Now they're um, and I wanted to also take this time. All right, cheers, folks. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Um, so <laughs> this is this is really good news, okay? Um, for quantum computer um, enthusiasts like myself and all of you. Um, remember that in 2025, um, quantum Microsoft announced that 2025 is the year to become quantum ready. So they are bringing it with this new chip. And it is, why is it so important? Well, this is one of the biggest tech companies in the US. Now we have Google and Microsoft making huge plays in the quantum space. And we know that Microsoft is already positioning themselves to on-ramp via their quantum ready program. So we, we know that Microsoft is positioning themselves to prepare organizations for the future of quantum computing. So if you've been paying attention, big companies like Google and Microsoft are leading the charge on the quantum future and the quantum advantage. So it's super exciting to see. I mean, I'll, I'll say this is one of the biggest headlines we've seen in a while. And I've had um, some interesting conversations lately on Reddit and, and otherwise uh, with pessimists or bears, uh, as they call them on Wall, on Wall Street. Um, saying these companies don't make money and 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 this and that. Well, what it, what it, Microsoft doesn't make money really. Microsoft is a multiple trillion dollar company, and you have smaller companies that are competing in this space. It is good news anytime you see a quantum headline from a major tech company. That means that the space is moving forward, okay? Um, so you're probably wondering, how can you take advantage of the quantum computer revolution? And how can you invest now and get on the ground floor? Well, lucky for you, I have built the quantumbull.com. So that's the quantumbull.com, two horns. And you hop over to invest and right at the top of the page, I have built what I call my quantum eight. So the top eight stocks or a leaderboard, which I think are the eight strongest companies or investments to buy now to take full advantage of the hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars that are going to be pouring into the quantum computer stocks in the next five to 10 years. So at number one, I have Microsoft. I'm feeling pretty dang good about Microsoft at number one. Some of you may not know that IBM um, has made very significant advances in quantum hardware and 
they jumped up in my rankings. Google, obviously, with their announcement of Willow and their R&D. IonQ is a fantastic company. If they were a car wash company, if they were a a food company, it doesn't matter. IonQ runs a great business and they are looking to expand. If you go and look right now, they've outgrown their current headquarters. Growth um, is imminent and evident and inevitable in the quantum field. So if you are a denier, if you're short on quantum stocks, be ready to have your margin called. That's all I got to say. D-Wave, uh, Qubits, uh, stands out as the leading, I would say one of the leading small cap players. Uh, they came out um, very early on when there was a lot of negative press. And the CEO, Dr. Bratz, basically said Jensen was wrong. And this was last month. Okay, all this has happened really quickly. So D-Wave also announced a conference. They've had major sales. They've had lots of headlines. And right now, they're trading at six bucks. I mean, it's a freaking great deal, if you ask me. Um, Rigetti has a full stack modular approach at number six, ARQQ for a cybersecurity play, and Honeywell, who may be looking at splitting their company into three major sections and specialties. So how did the market respond? Well, let's take a look. I know there was an initial spike, um, but at the time of this recording, you know, the market's open, so things can always change. All right, so today we have QUBT up 8.6%. We have QBTS up 8%, Rigetti up 6%, and IONQ up 2.5%. Basically, across the board on my quantum watch list, I'm seeing green. And this is in a market that isn't doing particularly well today. We're uh, red on all the major indexes, so it's really great to see. All right, so um, at the time of this recording, this is just 25 minutes or so after this initial spike. So look at the volume. That's one thing I want you to look at is when you see a ton of volume out of nowhere in any stock, something's going on. So what do we, what do we have happen? We're trading at 1030, 1040. It's mostly a flat day. And then we run all the way to 1150 on a spike. We, we've got uh, a little bit of sell off on the rally. And now we're holding an $11 position on Rigetti. You all at this point have seen my video about QBTS. I think this is one of the hottest stocks in quantum right now. And we can see the spike here. And this, at this point, with all the catalysts coming up, earnings, we have the CEO saying he's excited to report earnings. We have, uh, what, what else? We have the conference coming up in March, which I think um, some great headlines are potentially going to come out of that conference, especially all of the commercial clients that are going to come to that conference. Um, hey, I mean... You all make your own decisions. Um, this channel is not um, an investment advice channel. It is a quantum computer nerd out uh, investment mix. Learn the stuff um, and and just have a good time talking about this because this is a fun thing. OK, like, like at the end of the day, quantum computers are going to change the world. And I'm going to keep a mix of content on this channel. We're going to talk about um the technology specifically. I started my interest in quantum computers as an investor, but I have really fallen in love with the science. And if you also are interested in learning about quantum computers, then please go over to the quantumbull.com. I work tirelessly to build out a site for any audience, whether you want to dream, learn, read the news, or invest. And speaking of news, I better get this article up today. This one man shop is going to be busy, it looks like in the, in the coming months and years. So anyway, if you all have found value out of this video, please leave a like or subscribe. Um, hope you all um, do well out in the market today and have a great day.